How do you imagine success? Close your eyes and portray achievement. Whatever it is, climbing a mountain, preparing a new dish, winning your 14th Roland Garros. When your eyes were closed, you probably did not see you halfway through the mountain or training early in the morning. You visualized the top of the mountain, the end game, the taste of success. But every big journey starts with a small step. And the importance of the first step is many times undervalued. That first step is sacred because it encapsulates the essence of the journey, the determination for other steps to follow. Let's now apply this to the subject of sustainability and climate change, probably the biggest challenge that humanity has ever faced. We have our duties to solve this problem as individuals and as organizations. It requires the kind of leadership that we admire. Increased focus and pressure from investors, regulators, employees, consumers, and other stakeholders made ESG, environmental, social, and governance, a strategic imperative at the board level, but also essential to be embedded in every business processes. But of course, as in each journey, there are challenges. And the main challenge, you already know, is the first step. What are the options for a company's first step to develop the right ESG strategy? From scattered data to a unified dashboard, companies that follow this path could play catch up with evolving sustainability regulation. Data gathering and dashboarding is most of the times not complemented with other key dimensions as steering and decision making. A reporting mentality is not enough and is misinterpreting the new body of regulation. From institutional to environmental risk management, social development, and governance evolution, you can start with GRC, Governance, Risk Management, and Compliance, focusing on minimizing risks and costs and understanding vulnerabilities. Companies that follow this path can understand the double materiality approach, impact of the climate change in the organization and impact of the organization in the environment. This approach falls short to gather financial and sustainability as two dimensions of an interconnected reality. There's no profitability without sustainability and vice versa. From environmental health and safety processes to ESG, the typical key stakeholders in EHS usually cover the accountability dimension of ESG. They will have to expand their job to cover the profitability and desirability dimensions. The mindset of a compliance department is far from the mindset of a financial or a marketing department. This transition will be a hard one for the companies that follow this path, merging financial with sustainability data for profitable sustainability and sustainable profitability. What if you enhance your financial accounting system with a sustainability accounting system? Leverage data coming from supply chain, operations, marketing, manufacturing, sales, human resource activities, and even data coming from other sources. Companies that follow this path tackle all three dimensions, ensure all accountability standards, understand profitability, and embrace the desirability dimension of sustainability. More importantly, this approach is not a one-way journey, ERP to ESG. The real steering comes from the ESG to ERP dimension, once we understand data, apply the right internal processes to get insights, both for profitability and sustainability, we need to take actions to change our processes. How do we procure, manufacture, store, or distribute? How we market and gather customer feedback? So it's ERP to ESG and back to ERP for a virtuous circle. ERP to ESG is the first step to be able to fix what we can measure to be able to measure what we want to fix. Remember, any company could be sustainable tomorrow, but it would go bankrupt. So companies need to be able to merge financial and sustainability information to analyze all implications. Now, how do you imagine ESG success? Close your eyes and portray achievement. Visualize the right first step. We call it ERP to ESG.